This is Top 30. Coming up, what you can do to sell your home faster, how to keep your pet happy while you're away, and we remember Broadway icon Carol Channing. Now you'll never go away Hi there, and welcome to the show. I'm Kristen Smith, and here are 30 things you need to know right now. A warning for pet owners. The FDA has issued a recall on more than 10 brands of dried dog food due to vitamin D toxicity. Symptoms include vomiting, drooling, loss of appetite, and lethargy. The brands you see here have been affected, and for a full list, visit our Facebook page. And a new study reveals how important it is to get at least six hours of sleep every night. Any less, and it puts you at risk for cardiovascular disease. Published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, the study found a link between poor sleep and a buildup of plaque in the arteries. Sleep deprivation has long been cautioned as a health hazard, with several studies finding it can increase the risk of high blood pressure, inflammation, and obesity. And Broadway legend Carol Channing passed away on Tuesday at the age of 97. She was best known for her Tony Award-winning role as Dolly Levi in the Broadway musical Hello, Dolly. Hello. Channing made her New York stage debut in Never Take No for an Answer, and her role in 1949's Gentlemen Prefer Blondes musical put her on the map. We all remember the song, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. She was married four times and is survived by her son, Channing Carson. Now let's go to the New York Stock Exchange for our Fox Business Minute with Jerry Willis. Jerry, this first story is good news for veterans. That's right, Kristen. Unemployment rates among military veterans hit an all-time low in 2018. For vets of all ages, the rate fell to 3.5 percent. That's its lowest level since the year 2000. The rate of homelessness among veterans also fell 5.4 percent. In the years since the financial crisis, there's been a strong push within companies and the federal government to hire veterans. Vets. Hacking Concerns has Tesla offering a brand new Model 3 as a prize at a competition in Canada. A hacker who compromises the car's security will take home the electric vehicle. Tesla says it wants to learn about hackers' skills so that it can improve the security and safety of its products. And Nike coming out with a new line of sneakers that you can control from your smartphone. They'll be modeled similarly to the self-lacing Hyper Adapt shoes Nike launched last year. The only difference, you'll be able to tie the shoes via the phone. Sounds interesting. How much do they cost? Expensive. The shoes will go on sale at 350 bucks. Still expensive, but a lot cheaper than the Hyper Adapt's price of 720 Good to know. Thanks, Jerry. Time now for the New York Minute with Rosanna Scotto from Fox 5 New York. So, Rosanna, a lawsuit may reveal why housing is so hard to find in New York. They're saying rooms are being used as hotels. Monday, the city filed a $21 million suit against real estate brokerage firm Metropolitan Property Group, saying that they illegally facilitated 13,000 short-term apartment rentals through Airbnb. Now, state law says most apartments can't be rented for less than 30 days unless a permanent tenant is there. Now, the firm allegedly used fake accounts to house some 75,000 guests in 130 apartments at 35 residential buildings, treating them as hotel rooms. An Airbnb spokesperson is saying commercial operators are usually not a big problem on their platform. But the mayor's office says about a third of short-term listings on the top five rental sites are by commercial renters. So this is now in the hands of the courts. Who knows? But you know what I always say, the rent is too damn high. <laughs> sure is. All right, well, from housing struggles, let's turn to the subway and new proof of what I guess New Yorkers already knew. We knew it, we knew it, the subways are not so reliable. So there's a new report out by the transit advocate group Riders Alliance, and it shows that in 2018, subway trains were delayed 92% of mornings. Can you imagine that? So analyzing service alerts, the group found signal problems on 230 of 251 weekday mornings. The F train led all the lines with 72 delays. So the MTA is now saying they have this plan. It's called 
the fast forward plan. It could help modernize the signal system by replacing all of them over the next decade. Kristen, I don't know if you know this, but we're using technology from the 1930s to run the subway. But I, I don't want you to get ahead of yourself. If funded, this plan's gonna take 10 years. So be patient in a New York Minute. Well, patience is a virtue. Rosanna, thank you. All right, you're gonna to wanna to listen to this story. Last March, the University of Virginia suspended a predominantly Latina sorority for violating the school's hazing policy. The hazing act in question, requiring the sorority pledges to study at least 25 hours a week. We have attorney and legal analyst Annalise Getz with us today because I personally need more clarification on this. Annalise, this is crazy. It doesn't sound like hazing to me. Um, well, it doesn't sound like hazing to the sorority either. Okay. So they actually initiated a lawsuit. They filed for discrimination against the university. And when I think of hazing, I think of like crazy things. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, we've heard the stories in the news. So I guess this situation begs the question, what is their hazing policy? So UVA has a specific hazing policy. It is any situation that occurs either on campus or at a campus event that's designed to or produces a mental or physical harassment, discomfort, or ridicule. So what they're saying here is the alleged excessive <laughs> studying. If you've been to college, 25 hours a week is not that excessive. Yeah. Um, that that was uh, harassment, that that resulted in, uh, in, in mental stress to the to the pledges. I have no legal background, but studying, I think, is never comfortable. This is a, a highly ranked institution. This is UVA. Yeah. Right now, the conversation's always about binge drinking and partying. And this is a sorority that's saying, no, what we want our members to be is academic, smart, ambitious women. This should be applauded. Well, I guess we'll see where this goes. And I always appreciate your insight. Annalise, thank you. Thanks, Kristen. All right, moving right along, let's get to the New York Post, where Heather Houseworth has updates about a possible new law. So, Heather, this is all about work emails. That's right, Kristen. The city that never sleeps may soon have a closing time, at least for workaholics. Under proposed city legislation, employees in the Big Apple would be able to ignore their bosses after hour emails and texts without facing penalty. It's called the Right to Disconnect Bill, and the councilman who introduced it cited studies showing that the economy would benefit because forbidding round-the-clock work would lead to greater employee productivity. So where does the mayor stand on this issue? The mayor is against it, which puts him on the same side as the business world. He argues that the government should not legislate email. The bill has six co-sponsors since it was introduced, but it needs more votes to pass. The proposed law would fine any employer $500 who punishes a worker for not answering a text or email after hours. If it passes, New York City would not be alone. Italy, France, and the Philippines have similar laws in place. It'll be interesting to see if this bill becomes a law. Heather, thank you. Okay, for two weekends this April, Childish Gambino, Tame Impala, and Ariana Grande are set to take the stage in Indio, California for the 20th Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival. One name not on the list, Kanye West. With more, we're joined by New York City radio host, Mike Adam. So Mike, what are we learning about Kanye's decision to not perform over the two weekends? Kanye, he was supposed to headline the entire festival, but according to one of the co-founders, he wanted this custom dome stage made, which I imagine normally would have been fine, but it was so last minute, there was no way it was gonna get done in time for April. So he pulled out and that was just two days before the lineup was supposed to be announced. Luckily, they were able to hit up Scooter Braun, uh, Ariana Grande's manager, and get her in there to replace Kanye pretty seamlessly and quickly as well. Okay, so Kanye, not the only performer who won't be taking the stage in April, a second headliner had to pull out this year. Justin Timberlake. This uh, one's a little less ridiculous. I feel like he had those bruised vocal cords. So unfortunately, he really had to postpone his Man of the Woods tour and rework that. And the new dates now, they just conflict with Coachella. So what they did there, they bumped up uh, Tame Impala, the Australian rock band, to that top headliner spot, which I think is a great move. They have a huge fan base. So maybe next year we'll get uh, Kanye and Justin Timberlake on the bill. Well, I hope so. That would be quite the pairing. Thanks, Mike. These cold winter months can either make you want to burrow in and hibernate 
or make you feel cooped up and ready for a change. If you're experiencing more of the latter, Paige Failing from Fox 46 Charlotte is here with some tips on what you can do right now to get your house ready to sell when the ice melts away. Hi, Paige. You know the saying, right, Kristen? Home is where the heart is, but it's also where a lot of other stuff is that's accumulated there over the years, right? So number one, if you are thinking of putting your house on the market, now is the time to invest in a storage unit. That'll make it much easier for your professional stager and photographers to make things look good. By the way, that's rec number two is to hire those two. Next, don't be afraid to use your social media feeds and followings to get the word out, but keep the personal photos on there while you're at it. Clearing any family pictures out of the house will make potential buyers much more able to see it as their own than as yours. Finish any small upgrades like paint touch-ups or adding nice lighting and possibly window treatments to make your home a little more appealing. Then get that puppy on the market in the next couple of months, people. Spring and summer will be here before you know it. Hot not only for weather, but for homes too. Then you will be in your new home in time for the new school year, which as we know, Kristen, will bring its very own whole other list of plenty of to-dos. <laughs> Don't I know it. Thanks, Paige. And still ahead, it looks like millennials are delaying having children and doing this instead. And soon you can bet on your favorite team through your television. Don't go anywhere. Top 30 will be right back after these messages from our sponsors. Pain wants to stop you. <laughs> like that's gonna happen. Icy hot. Icy to dull, hot to relax. Rise from pain. Icy hot. Welcome back. Our friend Headcrack over at Dish Nation has the hottest celebrity news. So Headcrack, I hear another star is jumping into the alcohol industry. That's right, Kristen. Drake's Instagram name isn't Champagne Poppy for nothing. He's turning his handle into a business. Now, he recently entered the alcohol business again by introducing Mod Selection, a new champagne that was launched last week. Now, these were previously only available to the political and industry elite, and they're now available to the public for $300 to $400 per bottle. Now, if I buy a bottle for $400, I'm gonna be sipping on that for the whole year, slowly. Watch out, Fiji Water Girl. There's a new award show photo bomber. Now, at last week's Golden Globe Awards, the Fiji Water model quickly went viral for being in everyone's photos. Now, at Sunday's Critic Choice Awards, host Tay Diggs was announcing the best action movie, and a man holding a tray of Joey's burgers could be seen smiling at the camera in the background. Social media quickly lit up with comments, and he stole a moment. Maybe I should do the awards show next year and just play the background of all Dish Nation attire. Let's get on that. And finally, what's more popular than Kylie Jenner? An egg. Kylie lost the title of Instagram's most liked post on Sunday for her photo of baby Stormy holding her finger. Now, she lost to an account created for one purpose only, to beat Kylie on Instagram. Shout out to the egg gang for making that happen. Well, anyway, that's today's dish. Until next time. That is such a crazy story. However, I think Kylie will be fine. Thanks, Headcrack. For the latest celebrity news, make sure you watch Dish Nation weekdays. Check your local listings. Now listen to this story. Nick Herbert was so fed up with his son never texting or calling him back that he created something that would essentially force his son to get back to him. He developed the smartphone app Reply ASAP. Not only does the app make the message audible, even if the recipient has their phone on silent, but it gives the message sender the recipient's location as well. But the best part is that the recipient, presumably your child, will not be allowed to engage in any activity on their phone until they interact with the message from the sender. So it basically locks the device until they reply to you. Nick says the primary use is really for important messages, not something simple like what's for dinner. And in the interest of fairness, the app works both ways. So if your child sends you what they deem to be an important message, your smartphone will also lock until you reply. For now, it's only available on Android devices, but an iOS version for the iPhone is said to be coming soon. Well, if you have soreness or muscle pain, today's top 30 steal is for you. We have an iPulse Tense and Electric Muscle Stimulator at a special 94% discount. This portable compact massager is a transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation therapy unit that uses mild electrical impulses to stimulate muscles and alleviate pain. It's even approved by the FDA as a class two medical device. Now you can soothe tired and sore muscles in the comfort of your own home. There are 12 automatic massage programs and 20 levels of strength to customize your experience. It has a rechargeable lithium battery and comes with 10 pads. 
The iPulse Tens and Electric Muscle Stimulator retails for as much as $499. But today you can buy it for just 29 bucks. That's a 94% discount. And you can get this right now at MorningSave.com while they last. In today's hometown stories from Fox 2 Detroit, 20 year old Kalila Smith is a student at Michigan State University who dreams of becoming a veterinarian one day. But in her spare time, she's already made history as the school's first black rodeo queen. She says it's important for young black girls to see there's a place for them in rodeo. Little kids get to see me and like this one girl even cried because she had never seen a black rodeo queen before and it's like everyone's around me because they're like we've never seen this we're so happy you're doing it like we need people like you to actually step up there and do the things that you're doing. And in our final story from Fox 29 Philadelphia 13 year old Lev Burstein is already embracing the entrepreneurial spirit. After tinkering around in his parents kitchen he decided to create the company Hot Sauce for Heat and it has a noble goal. A portion of the proceeds go to people who can't afford heat in the winter time. Lev's mission statement is pretty straightforward. Throughout Philadelphia, there are 16,000 homes who seriously struggle to pay for heating bills. And I want my goal is to reduce that number. Another goal of Lev's to get his hot sauce in restaurants and retail stores. And I have no doubt he will. Top 30, we'll be right back. Welcome back. We all know some pet lovers who get upset leaving their fur babies at home. If you're worried about little Fido getting lonely or lazy while you're gone, a new robot may be the answer you're looking for. Last week's Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas displayed Varum's pet fitness robot. According to Varum, an electrics manufacturer in Los Angeles, the goal of the robot is to make sure your pets are active, healthy, and in good company. Varum says that more than 55% of dogs and cats are clinically overweight. So you can set the robot to play with your pet by moving around your house. The robot, of course, can sense objects around the house so it won't run into anything, but it can also sense large spaces and the best areas to play. It can also dispense treats as a reward after making sure your dog or cat has been moving. The robot's artificial intelligence can analyze your pet's mood and behavior and adjusts accordingly. And the best part? All of this is under your control right from the app. The pet fitness robot is going for about $100 on Indiegogo right now. So if you think Fido needs a friend, this may be your solution. Listen up, the cost of dining out is going up. Last month, U.S. restaurants raised prices by the highest amount in more than seven years. That's according to a report by Bloomberg. Prices for full-service restaurants rose by half a percent from the month before. That may not sound like much, but price increases for food and grocery stores were significantly lower. Consumer experts say that price gap could encourage more people to eat at home. At the same time, restaurants are fighting higher labor costs. The industry has a high turnover rate and training new workers cost companies time and money. In addition, 20 states are raising their minimum wages in 2019. To cut down on some of those costs, experts say in 2019, we'll be seeing more chains encouraging customers to order online or through third-party apps so that they can eliminate some employees who used to take orders. While sports teams and TV networks want to let you bet on the big game through your TV. This season, the Washington Wizards will have a second broadcast of some of their games that's focused on making bets. The first ever broadcast was last week when the Wizards played the Milwaukee Bucks. The contest is called Predict the Game. About 30 questions appear on screen during the game, asking questions like whether a player will score 10 or more points in the first half. Those who make correct predictions can enter a drawing on the team's website for a $500 cash prize. For now, the contest is free to enter, so it's technically not gambling, but the real thing is coming soon. Last year, the Supreme Court struck down a law limiting sports betting to Nevada and three other states. Months later, D.C. voted for legal sports gambling. The betting will be offered on seven more games this season. Wizards ownership says it's a 1.0 version of where they're going. Stay right there. We have more Top 30 coming up. Welcome back. Question, are you missing out on Netflix's most popular shows? While the streaming giant is typically coy about viewing figures, HighSpeedInternet.com has analyzed 2018 Google Trends to determine the most popular Netflix shows in each state. Overall, teen drama 13 Reasons Why dominated, ranking as most popular in seven states. Placing first in six states was British comedy The End of the Effing World. Marvel's since-canceled superhero series Daredevil placed third, receiving 
receiving notice in five states. Non-Netflix originals also had their share of fans, as among others, The CW's Jane the Virgin reigned in California and Texas, and local set shows Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul led in New Mexico. New Mexico wasn't the only state to see local subjects dominate. Ozark topped the list in Missouri, and Making a Murderer had fans hooked in Wisconsin. With such diverse shows leaving their marks across the country, you have your viewing work cut out for you in 2019. And that's it for today's show. Thanks for watching. Here's what's coming up on the next Top 30. Workers are taking fewer sick days than ever, but it's not because they're healthier. Plus, why these tourist destinations are trying to get fewer visitors. And those New Year's resolutions are just weeks old, but many people already have creative excuses for skipping the gym. You can also listen to today's biggest stories on the Top 30 podcast. It's all coming up on the next Top 30.